last few questions today. Okay. So, earlier today, I received a call from SecuroServe about a missing person. Uh, the investigators there, the private investigators, stated that you were looking for a friend. Um, why was your, why would you call a private investigator down to 53? Because I had used the Find My iPhone tracking application, right? Yeah, uh, you know, it mm -hmm. helps yep. find phones. Yep. Uh, and my friend's phone was last seen in that area. So I went over there. I found the phone beeping in one of the trash bins. And then I uh, I left it where he might be able to find it sometime. And then I think he got it afterward. But I never did see him think, get it. Think who got it? Uh, it? My friend, Will. Will Baker? Yeah. Oh my okay. God. Uh, do you realize that I found a pistol on the scene that was fired? Yes, uh, I, I It I had uh, your handprint on it. Oh, that was um, that may have been because I was a... Uh, I was over the, uh, the, um, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, I was over the gun and I was looking through the whole building with you guys. Mm -hmm. I, I may have okay. touched it once or twice or something. May have touched it once or twice. Okay. okay oh, and then, handprints are on the gun. Oh no. You, uh, the pistol was, the serial number was scratched. You, you don't claim that pistol is your own? Uh, no, I do not. That was not my gun. It's good, man. Take your time. Make sure you explain it well. Yeah. I don't have any kind of unregistered firearms. I don't even have a permit. I, I wouldn't have a gun. Okay. So, you have a connection with Mr. Baker, don't you? Yeah, former business partners. Okay. Can you explain a little deeper into your business relationship with him? Sure. Uh, me and Mr. Baker, we were very close for a number of years before we started thinking we should make a business together. We always had an interest in capitalizing on what others didn't think of, right? Mm -hmm. So we decided we would transport the hazardous chemicals for the businesses because that always has to be, be done by someone. And no one ever yep. wants to do it because it's a heck of a lot of paperwork. And we figured... We don't got nothing better to do, so we did it. Then, uh, oh my God, this we guy's were co-owners of the business, and then he eventually knocked me down a rung in the ladder, and he became sole proprietor. At that point in time, we had kind of a falling out, and okay. it brings us about to here. Okay, and what kind of falling out was this? Uh, he just stopped kind of talking to me. I was, you know, upset, but not terribly upset. I, 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 I still wanted him to, you know, have a fine life, you know. Yeah, I okay. I didn't want him to die. You didn't want him to die? No, no. Okay, so with my interview with you at the scene, at this time, I believed you were a uh, victim and the witness. You claimed that he said that you had tried to steal from him twice and that you needed to contact the marshals about it. Uh, okay. Yeah, one at one point I contacted the marshals. Um, I, I didn't tell them who I was. I, I wanted to make sure that I was staying under the radar because I felt that, you know, that kind of thing... You know, it's not like something you should go about asking normally, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, this is like, you know, the first time anything crazy has happened to me. Um, okay. I believe that I can get this uh, I lost my train of thought. What was I uh, you left talking about? Uh, you left off on uh, what you told the marshal why he was investigating the these made Oh, problems. yes. I had seen a marshal, a U.S. Marshal's vehicle uh, on the scene, but before that, I had heard from a sheriff's deputy that had asked originally, like to help. I filed a missing persons report, 
the missing mm-hmm. persons report was immediately dismissed by U.S. Marshals when they were like, uh, no, we have him in, in custody. And then the sheriff explained further that they sent him to a state prison. I then got the number of the warden, called him. He said, no, we haven't gotten anyone matching that description. And then I asked him, what about this name, Will Baker? He says, I haven't heard of that. And I I had him check through his prison system. Nothing came up. So okay. at that point, I got a little bit apprehensive and hired a private investigator to help me search for him. And I went to his last known location on Find My iPhone app, and yep. that brought us to what we know so far. Okay, and then what type of chemicals did you all work with? Um, mainly benzene, a little bit of hydro antimonic acid, and this guy's good. This guy's good. Um, some other miscellaneous hazardous chemicals that are uh, hazardous enough that it makes it like a pain for some people to do it. Okay. Uh, Mr. Smith, have you uh, ever fired a weapon before? Uh, yes, I have. I'm... I've done that at a firing range with my friend Will. He has a concealed carry uh, license. Mm -hmm. Um, He owns a 9mm subcompact pistol. I fired that on a number of occasions. Um, Yeah. Okay. Hey, who took his clothes? And then, uh, out of curiosity, when you arrived on this like found the weapon on the scene at 53 what why would you uh want to pick that up i wanted to see what it, what kind of gun it was i i used to be a big history buff you know i used yeah. to love love uh, all sorts of the history of things i knew exactly what that gun was as soon as i picked it up beretta m9 or well it was actually closer to the 92 fs model nine millimeter nine uh no actually i believe it was 45 acp um the other firearm was nine millimeter the one that will had that was a that was a subcompact um but i've always been kind of you know i like that kind of stuff i picked it up and i was like oh shoot i shouldn't have touched that this is not something i should have done right so i put it down and then i and then i asked for people to come see it I called over the private investigators, and that's when they were like, this is out of our league, and called you guys. Okay. And you realize that it was your palm print, the only prints I found on that weapon, correct? Yeah, but it's it's not like... Did you yeah. check to see if there was any gunpowder on his hands? I did not have a chance to, because at the time, I was working with him as him being a possible witness and suspect in this case. I mean, if he supposedly um, shot weapon, you could check his nails or anything like that, but as I can see, I don't yep. think he shot the gun. So. Alright, I'm done with my piece here. Are we allowed to have a two-minute recess break or something, just to talk? Uh, they'll be up with the marshals. Okay, could this be turned off again? I can't. Let me verify that. Okay. I need to let him speak. Are sure. we turning off the recording inside the room? In between questioning at all? Yep, nope, that's fine. Are you requesting that the recording be completed or shut off in between? Yes, please, if that's okay, okay. with you guys. Okay, no problem. Thank you. No problem, I will turn it off. Uh, end of questioning, Jennifer Sherman, 5125, Highway Patrol. Thank you. All right. I need to know more about what you were doing on the scene and when do you think he was killed by this hitman? Yep. Or, uh, and it, so, uh, sorry, it's yeah, uh, he's kidnapper. The, um... Yeah, um, okay, I originally hired him to uh, just b- go... B- b- he originally kidnapped you? Yes, he originally kidnapped me, yep. Okay. 
Um, I was then fired at by him. Um, fired and up, okay. Uh, so yeah, back on you the know? scene, like, they said that you picked up a weapon. Did he leave that weapon there after the crime or before? Um, after. Did yeah, you, after. Where was the body? Would you know? I don't know. I think, okay. I think. Could you see the body before you picked up the weapon? Um, I picked up the weapon, um, from a drop location, and I was going to put it down there for, uh, to, uh, so convince the PIs that I was innocent. So but. the weapon was taken off the scene, and it was found by an officer? Yeah, it, well, it was found by a bunch of private investigators and me. So would you possibly argue that you found the weapon on the ground and you didn't know that it was linked to a crime? You were just looking at it? That is what I have been... Yeah, that's what my goal is. Okay. Try to re-explain that to them. I don't yeah. know if they'll get you cut up, caught up for that, but... I'm trying to understand... What, what was your thinking when you saw it on the ground? Like, is there, like... Is there any real reason why you wanted to pick it up, or...? Well, I think my reasoning for this is gonna be, uh... That I'm a history buff, and I love that... Yeah, I love weapons and that sounds weapons good. history. Like, that is an accurate statement, and I could see that as you, as a person, like, to do stuff like that. Alright. <sighs> So, is there any time when you were working with the with with your old boss that he may have been like violent or rude or anything? Um, there was one company we were contracting for, and they gave us um the, the improper like uh, packaging materials, right? So, and it leaked everywhere okay. and destroyed one of our trucks. He got really mad at the contractor. And, um, so, if I remember correctly, he did make criminal threats. So, could you possibly, hypothetically, argue that your boss pissed off somebody, and this guy, this kidnapper knew that you were a part of the business, and you talked to this guy, so he kidnapped you, and went back to his place, and wanted to try to get you set up for the murder? Yeah, I, I, I could argue that. Yeah. So basically, he gave you a, a postal on where the gun was. He wanted you to pick it up and make it look like you were looking at it as, like, an enthusiast of weapons. Now, the only way that he could have not had his fingerprints on there is either he was wearing gloves or he wiped them with a cloth or something. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna guess that he bought that off the black market and yeah. thoroughly dipped hey. that in some kind of... Thomas, you're gonna go in. Uh, so, are you ready for them now? See, if I mess up, you, you will my... Yeah, okay, yeah, I think I'm ready. Alright. <coughs> make, sure make sure to flex your shouting muscle. Yeah, sorry about that. Hello. <coughs> Alright, let me. Okay. <coughs> oh, I'm so good at this. <coughs> I have a few questions, alright? So, I'm just gonna get straight to the chase. What was in the barrel that you were transporting? <laughs> um, a mixture of benzene and hydrofluoroalkylic acid. Or, or maybe it's just yeah. hydro antimonic acid. Yep. Hold on one sec. Oh man, I got a cough. Ooh. All right. Um. My so God. What was that acid? God, what were you gonna use it for? I was not gonna use it for anything. Oh. Yeah, my client was simply just transporting it somewhere. I'm sure. Where were you, where were you gonna be transporting that to? And what was the reason for that? Well, I was transporting it from the docks to the um the oil rig. I believe they. Were, Use it in the purification process of oil. However, 
that was not my contract. That was his contract, but that was his vehicle that I had. Oh my God. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. To clarify, someone had forced contract? me. Yep. What? Someone had. What were you saying? Someone had. Uh, to clarify, someone had forced me to take the vehicle at gunpoint. This person had also th uh, made threats to him in the past, and they had a violent altercation a few years back. Um, do you know who is holding you at gunpoint? What chance? No, I just know that I saw him representing a company once for a contract. They provided inadequate uh, packaging materials and equipment, and mm -hmm. it ended up spilling all over one of our trucks and just disintegrating part of it, which made Will mm -hmm. get mad, so he started flying off the handle at him. Then they had an altercation where they ended up throwing some fists, and I don't think he ever got over it, you know? My golf. This is my gone. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Um, four. So after further search of your vehicle, we I found in the engine bay, I believe it was, you had it was a baggie. At first, it looked a bit like powder, but afterwards, I noticed it was kind of clumped together. Do you know what substance that was? I have no earthly idea. Alright. Um, once again, after I searched the vehicle, we did find a laptop. Uh, we uh, these were I left items, it in the trunk. These were all mm -hmm. items that were left inside of the vehicle when the suspect told him to drive off of the scene so he, it could make him look like he's the criminal. Attorney! Shout muscle! All right, well, as he was saying, yes, these were all things that I had not put inside the vehicle myself. These were things that the hostage taker had put inside the vehicle. Well, I understand you saying that, but either way, I'm still just going to ask you, do you know anything about the laptop? I have no idea what laptop you guys are talking about. Right, so I do want to mention earlier. Whoa, you whoa, did... One moment. Mm -hmm. uh, you have no idea what we're talking about, sir. sir. Oh, what, <clears throat> May I ask laptop? what the comment was earlier when I mentioned the laptop and you said, and I quote, "Wait, you guys get into the laptop?" I wasn't talking about that lot laptop. Oh, I thought you were talking you about my. I, I thought you were talking about my home laptop, the one that I keep at home. I I use All it right. for work. I believe they're going to be referring to the one that was in the vehicle. Yeah, mm. alrighty. Uh, <clears throat> alrighty, Joe, you continue. Alright, so, like I said, earlier you did mention something about the sunglasses being a key to that laptop, which you were correct. And may I ask how you knew that? Um, I, perhaps, maybe me, I, I just thought, oh, wow, my, my sunglasses, they, they're, they're, you know, they, I don't know. Well, okay. I had been familiarized to the laptop by the hostage taker, and I believe he um, he um, he showed me that the sunglasses are able to access the laptop computer. At the t at the time, I was under duress and was not able to act according to my own actions. By the way. When are you gonna give me my clothes? Yeah, this guy's probably cold. Can we get him some clothes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. my it's, my nip nip, <clears throat> sir. This, this won't take long. Uh, Just after that, we'll get you a jacket and stuff, right, man? Okay. Right. Um, moving on. So on the lap. Ooh, one second. Mm. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Mm, not anymore. Oh. Oh. Ready for a second there. Now we can't hear you. Oh, uh, sorry. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, oh. we can hear you. Right. There we go. 
So yeah, on the laptop we did find a plan on how you supposedly were going to be killing Will Baker. Do you have any idea about that? Yeah, I, I believe that was the hostage taker's attempt to frame me. Right. Mm. Um. So yeah, I just want to say the plan did match pretty well to a point of earlier events that have unfolded today. Do you know yeah, anything about that, those that, plans and events? That must have been what he was planning on doing. He must have planned this out beforehand. Do we know what time these messages were sent, or? So, on the laptop, there weren't messages, it was just a file, and under it, it was, I don't know if it was like a Word document or not, but it's pretty yeah. much just a plan written out. Yeah, so in that document, he could have changed that at any time he wanted, if he figured, you know, that's the most easy, that's the easiest way he could frame me, I'm thinking. Uh, how, how the laptop getting your car, sir? Uh, what? I'll the laptop get in your car, yeah. That isn't my car. Okay. It was already in the lot. The laptop and all the things were still in the already in there when he got in the vehicle. He was told to drive yeah. away from the scene. Already, sir. Another question. Why did we find a pill inside of your glasses? A pill inside of my glasses? Those, uh, I don't know. I bought them at uh, a discount store. You did admit to knowing there was a pill in there earlier. I'm gonna go make the nun now. Mm -hmm. What kind of pill was it? He said, and I quote, was it his for his, um, I believe his liver? It turns yeah. out it's not for your liver at all. It would quite literally destroy your liver. Oh. Because uh, it's a cyanide pill. What it's sounding like to me. Uh... Oh, man. Um, Alright, well. I must have forgotten my... Uh, the cyanide pill was put there due to the suspect saying, this is your backup plan. If you get caught, I want you to kill yourself in the vehicle. But... Yep. Alrighty, and... Uh, so... Why didn't he say that straightforward? Instead of potentially saying it, was, it came with the glasses. I mean, when he bought them. Was this on the scene or was this here? It was it was on the scene? Okay, yeah. He because got, he, because he was they... traumatized, man. One of his guys just possibly died. He doesn't know what happened, and he was forced to drive away. He's scared. What do you expect? Everyone lies when they're terrified. So I don't think my client deserves that type of like disrespect. Um, another question. Another question. Why did we find a what looked to be a bomb inside of your boot? That was placed there as an insurance policy by the uh, hostage taker. <laughs> okay, so any statements you gave on scene were false. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That Obviously was you were that was because I was for a federal officer. Well, I was that was because I was under duress. You were under duress, all right? He was also stressed and could not properly think due to the matters that just occurred. Alrighty, alrighty. You can continue, uh, Jerry. Yep. Alright, um, so, one sec. So, in the, in the document, it did state that, in order that, a white box truck was going to hit him, I don't know where, I believe it was into the ocean, it said, right? Alright. Okay. <laughs> And it said, fire two rounds into Will, and then hire a private investigator to cover up his tracks. Yeah, that... You know anything mm, about that? That sounds like someone else covering his tracks even further. Alright, I personally have one more question for you. This is relating back to earlier, you were talking with the detective... And you mentioned that you had hired a private investigator before your friend Will. Yeah. No, to to find that? my to find right. my friend Will. Yeah, my my bad. 
I asked what that private investigator's name was. Uh, I, it's actually a corporation. Would you like but the name of the corporation? My, I, I would. Yep. Securo Surf. From my belief, isn't it normally just one private investigator though that comes out and looks for someone? Or yeah, I get in the whole team. I contacted them on their radio frequency, and they decided, "Oh well, we have nothing else that we can be doing. We might as well help you out with that." I mean, at any time, they're private security. They can do whatever the fuck they want. If they want to send thirty people up there, they can. Like. Unless, like, unless he's, unless he was the fucking boss, then it's up to them what they want to do, not hit, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Alright, well, I personally don't have any more questions, do you, Thomas? Um. I'm trying to think, but. Okay, sir, so when we were searching clothing, right? Mm -hmm. We found a pair of gloves in your shirt pocket. No. Yeah. Upon running a GSR test on said gloves, it did come back positive. Yeah, those are my shooting gloves. Alrighty, alrighty. No further questions. Alright. I'm getting better. From us, at least. I'm getting... right, can we turn off this recorder again, please? You want to turn that off? Can you real quick? One more. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Is the button in here or in there? It's in there. You did great, by the way. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> you did great, bro. Thank Jen, you. Jen, if you're much. if you're bored. No problem. Alright. So, okay. I might need you to go All over right. the whole story again. Yeah, it's, uh, it's they're a big... Gonna, they're gonna ask you more than once what happened, so everything that you said today... It's an absolute pleasure. Remember. I'm gonna expect good things. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Thinking back yeah, to the very wonderful. beginning of when this all started. Jerry, make sure that good things happen. That was, um, three days ago or something. <laughs> okay. Um, they're gonna ask you this story multiple he... times, and they're gonna like go over it in court three times a row, and they're gonna ask you like every small detail that they can. So you gotta make sure that it is as solid as possible. So go All over right. it. Yeah. Mike off. From my understanding. Mike on. Mike off. Was robbed, and he had called. He had previously called a non-emergency line. To report that his tire was flat and that he needed someone to transport him to the nearest uh, mechanic center, right? Um, as officers were showing up, he was being robbed by someone, and that person was the same person who had put me under duress. Um, that person had then attempted to kill him, and... Uh, Will Baker was taken into federal custody. Um, at about that time, uh, the officers noticed um, that on the dash cam that uh, Will had been had had a firearm aimed at him. Mike on from the person who was. Make sure while you're explaining it, you're not stuttering or anything. Make sure it comes out all smooth and stuff. Okay. Like, with the plan that you got now, you gotta stick with that one, trust me. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Um. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe, uh, Securo Serve could be one of our witnesses or something. If we could do that. Uh. It's a possibility, like, would it, like, were they on the scene, like, how, how did They were on the scene, and I think they would side with me in a case like this. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can I... get them to claim that they saw you leave. Who? 
Were there any officers on the scene when everything first happened? Mm, like, no, I don't think so. Okay. Like when I discovered the gun and everything? Yeah, like when you discovered all that stuff, was there anybody on scene there? No, there were three secure serve guys, but that's it. Okay, you can get them to claim that they saw you pick up the gun with your hand, and that's about it. Like, I don't... Hello! Yeah. Hello! Hey, you can I will be shouting. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, Don. Recorder. Just turn my radio down real quick. Hey, is there any possibility that we could get a CB handheld that's radio in done. here? A what? <laughs> uh, well, I need to contact the witnesses uh, from SecuroServe. Uh, no, sir. Okay. That's, uh, that's a court thing. Okay. Mic off. Alright. Alright, sir. Um, so I don't have too many questions for you. Um, but uh, to start it off, uh, I just want to confirm, you were down in the docks today, correct? Uh, no, I was not. Sorry, you're saying you were not in the docks? Uh, no, not at any point, no. Not at any point. Okay. Um, have you, uh, do you own or rent or have any kind of possession of a, uh, a white mule by any chance? Kind of box truck? Like, have no. you ever driven one or anything like that? No? Uh, actually, I have driven one. They, okay. that, that sounds like the same kind of thing that Will, Will Baker owns himself. He owns, uh, that kind of vehicle for transporting his chemicals. Okay. All right. Um, so you you told us earlier, correct, that you were you were forced to take uh, were you forced to take the vehicle or just the items in the vehicle? The items. In everything. The everything. Everything in well, the vehicle and the vehicle. The or, vehicle or what, itself. Did you have the vehicle belonged, itself? The, be the vehicle itself belonged to Will, uh, so I was forced to take it and all the belongings inside of it. Okay. Um. And whereabouts did you? Could you repeat for me again? Whereabouts did you get those? Uh, get those items? You get forced to take them. Uh, I was forced to take them at the oil rig when I was up there. We were going to be delivering the package, right? Um, I had like gone on an independent contract. Then he approached me and made me take this stuff, bring it back, and. I came up and followed his instructions. Okay, so I just want to clear one thing up. So the laptop had the uh, those instructions in it. I had that document or whatever with it in that laptop, uh, where it said uh, something about hiring a private investigator. Now you were at you were at fifty three with the I believe it was a trooper uh, and then four marshals. There was four of us there. Um, yeah. and this was Mike off. five minutes before you crashed, uh, if I'm, if I'm correct. So there's no way you could have got to the oil rig and back from that time. So you had those items in your possession while you were at Postal 53, correct? That is correct. Okay. Uh, how come you, you, when, sorry, my brain's having a moment. So whilst at 53, you alerted the private investigators there as well by what I've heard. Mike on. Yeah. Why? Why is that on the on the document after you've already have that uh, laptop in your possession whilst you're there? How come after the fact you've received that you've then contacted the private investigators? That is a that is a I okay. Sorry, I have some stuttering. Um, that is a an outline right of what I was supposed to do. That has already been written and gone over by the person who put me under duress. Okay, so you're saying that whole document was an outline of things for you to do? Yes, it was kind of a... Well, not not all, all of it. Okay, so part of it was his things, right? Like, if I'm... I thought if earlier I'm... you didn't know about the computer. Yeah, I thought earlier you didn't even know about it. So how would you know what was on that document? Uh, and... How come you didn't tell us that you hired those private investigators because you were you were forced to when you were when you were kidnapped or held hostage? Well, well at that time I didn't know the condition of my 
uh, buddy, Will. I didn't know if he still had him hostage, and I didn't know if he was watching my every movement. I so you know. and Will are good friends? Uh-huh. Uh, and well, Mel, not, are... not really. We used to be good friends, then we had kind of a falling out. Um, but we still know each other. I Did didn't want anything to happen. What? Uh, yeah, I mean... Okay. Not really. I mean, is Will upset with you over anything, or...? Yeah, he's, like, kind of not... He's not happy with me, per se. Okay. The only reason I ask is because three days ago, Will approached us and told us that he was in fear of his life, that you were going to kill him. What? No, no. So you're it's, lying. Just, it's just kind of interesting, you know, that he was very concerned for his life, that you were going to set out to kill him, and now <laughs> here we are, just, just conveniently, you know. Yeah, you know, so... Well. Will had multiple enemies. He pissed off of multiple people, and he had access. So, so to that's hearsay. Yeah, like he has access to these chemicals and shit. Like anybody would want to get access to him. That's hearsay. Yeah, the street value of this stuff is uh, insane. Like, alright, one one final question from me, sir. Um, so. Earlier, you uh, like earlier. I think it was with uh, with the other marshal. Uh, you said you were held hostage at the docks and told to go to the oil rig. Correct? No, this is not no. correct. I was no, held hostage. Was it okay. Was it other way around or? No, I was held hostage um, while en route um, to the oil rig from a completely separate location that. Uh, well, I mean, it's not supposed to be discussed because it's uh, part of the uh, contract is not to disclose the location where they harvest it. So do you still work I, at Will's company? I do not. I have broken off and formed my own, kind of. Because last I checked, Will informed me that you guys were no longer working together and that he was in threat of his life because you were jealous about the company, stuff like that. So I'm just kind of curious, you know, what contracts have you earned and, and my, gotten so far? Yeah, my company is much better than his. But didn't you guys form the company together? The first yeah, one? my the my company is? is now different than his. Oh, and it's, how long ago did you form it's it? Better. Um, I don't know. Oh, hmm. I couldn't tell you. Do you have an estimate amount <laughs> of time that you might have formed it? Maybe a couple months ago or a couple weeks. Yeah, ago? I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with like. Two months, maybe. Do you have any, like, it's it's kind of it's kind of foggy, you know. It's kind of foggy after a, a a long day of being, you know. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, You're in under a lot of stress. Do you have any like documents that would be like, like stating what your business is gonna be doing, anything like that, any business plans? To yeah, but it's mostly a preliminary outline. Nothing has been solidified by the, you know, any departments in the government yet. Okay. Because the only thing I have to really add is I don't think you're legally allowed to be in possession of those chemicals as you're a convicted felon. Oh. oh. So no, it's awfully that's... interesting okay. to me that you that's own this not company it's... and you're a convicted felon. A convicted felon is allowed to uh, possess is is not allowed to possess these chemicals, but is he's allowed to work you know with them so long as he's not physically like he's not right. So, how many employees yeah. do you have? Me. So, uh, hold on. So, My head hurts. My head hurts. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so... You kind of walked yourself into a little bit of a trap there. What? No, I'm the only employee. That's that's it. Oh. But I transport. I don't own. Yeah, and the, the, it's stored in a safe truck, so it wouldn't classify him as... Using it, if that makes any sense. Morgan, what's your thoughts? Oh, fuck, he fucked up, man. I need to get the full case. I need to get it every. Step. You didn't say a thing. My cough. What? What? What is that noise? So. To be honest, to me, it just sounds like you're kind of steaming a big crack of shit to us. So, you know, you want to be honest with us, or...? No, I think I'm going to go with what I've said so far. I'm pretty sure that's okay. all accurate. Alright, okay. I'm going to...
I'm gonna let you know one thing, alright? Lying isn't gonna get you anywhere in life. You're just gonna go in circles, and in the end, you get further punishment. Um, I believe it's a pretty serious crime providing false information to a uh, federal agent. Um, and I'll tell you one thing. You've, your story's kind of switched around a bit. Um, in, in, on multiple occasions. Mm. Can you provide an example of that? I am. I'm more than happy to. When you when you were first spoken to, you said you were taken hostage at the docks. That that's what you first said. I haven't noted down. I was listening. I noted it down. I come in and ask you, and then you say you were never at the docks. You were taken hostage at the oil rig. Was it? Or, was or it whatever it is. And then it's all recorded. And then ah. and then the third time when I when I try to confirm with you, you said you were on your way to the oil rig from an undisclosed location. Uh, and taken hostage, or something along the lines of that. So you've changed your story three times. Uh, My gone. So, what's your friend's name? My friend, Will Baker. Yeah, just wanted to hear you say it. So at this point in time, Charlie, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of Will Baker. Fuck. Yeah, I, I think we have established that. But have we established, uh... In that. Um, you also under arrest for lying to federal agents, obstruction of justice. At this point in time, you'd be held in custody until we could find. Whoa, 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 I wouldn't go that far. Just did. Too late, buddy. You could have been honest. Go ahead and face away from me. Okay. Until we find him, whether we find his remains <laughs> or whatever we may find. <laughs> They're gonna be held in U.S. Marshal custody in our cells. Okay. If we find him, it's attempted murder. If we don't find him, you know damn well what it's gonna be. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Um, I don't know why I'm facing lying and obstruction of justice. Because you charges. lied to us in an interrogation room on <laughs> after you were read your rights. And on multiple occasions, I only gave you one example where you've changed your story. You're obviously lying. Do we have to us. mention the computer. You. Oh, true, yeah. said you didn't know about oh, it. The pill? So how come, how, the, can you want to dispute, well. how can you want to dispute those charges but not the attempted murder? Yeah, wait because... a second. <laughs> because <Well, laughs> why? <please. laughs> All right. Damn, is criminal there something, is there something you need to tell us? <laughs> no, I'm okay. Mr. I'm Charney, this is the point where you just leave the video to Oh, my God. This is the point where you I'm going to invoke the fifth here. Okay, yeah, let's this is the point where you just go. Yeah, I think he's lost <laughs> it. I think I think just launched. <laughs> I someone someone escorted uh, the attorney out. We had done questioning. Yeah, I'll take the Come attorney on. out. Where is he? Oh, he's here. Well, you got him. All right. Yeah, I will. But um, can I just? Yikes, that was different. A little bit. Is that your car? Yeah, it's not that. But over there it is. That was different, man. Oh, do you have a good day? Call oh. me anytime. Yep. Yeah, we have a moment. Yeah, God damn it.